Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So this time, this is running too fast. The new year coming soon, tomorrow. So I hope you. Uh, I would like to send you a good luck to everyone is watching my tutorial. Uh, and I hope you enjoy my video, and we can see you in next year. And this is the last video in this year. Alright, so today I would like to show you a very very simple and basic. Um, I want to make a um simple player on the iOS, and this can be stream our video from our Raspberry Pi. Uh, so the first thing I am going to start the back end server. So let's open my terminal and change to our project. We change to stream, and this is our project. And we got the API and Raspberry Pi and web. Web is a React front end app, and Raspberry Pi it does mean the Python code, and this can help us turn on the camera. So basically, in this tutorial, we are not going to do on real Raspberry Pi device that just make on the test on my local desktop, and it will be streamed. Exactly the video dot m key v and trimmed it and sent to our engine H server. Right, the first thing I am going to start MongoDB. So I am by run MongoD and this will and also run up up a new tab on my terminal and change to API. We need to start start npm start to start our backend. Okay, so now the bow backend is working and we can also replace this with our ip address my local ip address should be one all right not sure i'm not sure maybe and so we need to check this by in the network all right so this is my ip address so let's copy that and so that means we can use our local network's IP address. And okay, so let's next thing. And change to uh, oh, CD to root and change to Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to open this file on PyCham. So let's open PyCham idea. And we open the project in tutorial stream and write verify. Okay. Oh, I, I did strong. Again, I'm going to close this and open. We are all open only the Python. So, tutorial. Stream and Raspberry Pi. Okay, should be good. And we got this. Now we don't have a Python environment, virtual environment, so we need to activate this by preference and the project interpreter. Alright, so now we need to add local to Raspberry Okay. And make sure we need to install couple thing model. So first it's okay first. And let's see in our app we are using Twitch and other one. So Z model need to be installed. So the first we need to install Twitch. Friend friend again. Let's click plus and we searching for Twitch. And verify this and install the package. Again, let's copy the autobahn. Close this and click OK. And one more time, we need to install autobahn. And PyCharm again. And add some more of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. 
the searching for all the ones is a matter. You got this and install this file package. Alright. So it's done. And after the model install successfully, we need to run it and verify the red verify is a connect. Okay, so now I'm going to select run and we run the app. So now we see connect is open and when the connect is open, maybe it's sent to the server and right, where is the method? And here is the method. We send the action P or like payloads with ID and cigarettes is not now, but we can imp implement this later. Later. So in our server, we should receive a method with web socket. It's a red pipe with action and pi online. And so, okay, so I believe we got the postman. So we can use a postman to send a, a method to make sure the P and streaming a video. Uh, let's see, mkv video, right, go. This is mpack command. We want to stream a set video and to our local engine x server. All right. So I believe, close this is another public. And so, so let's copy the URL. And I believe we close this. Now I want to make the Red Bird Pi will receive a command Hey Pi, please turn on your camera and that means it will run star this app command and run stream video and send it back to our server So I don't remember what exactly endpoint we are using for turn on support turn on Red Bird Pi So let's take a look in the project in terminal and red verify tutorial cd stream and I'm going to open in my sublime tag with the API I believe we got in the router so maybe in one router camera stream right with so camera ID stream and it will send the matches. Alright. So for now we make a setting. Alright, got it. Stream. API and stream for now let's change the ID to my secret. And we got the body with the exactly JSON file with the value or action. Yes body stream equal to and now I'm going to send this. That means. Alright, so now I'm going to test with a VLC. And this is a player. You can use this player for testing our, our local for now. Let's open this. Open from network. And remember, we got a in engine a config. It's exactly RTMP uh, to local hot, and you can replace local hot with our IP address. Alright, IP address, and it should be play and just secret. And now for now, we are streaming the secret key is Tavian. Let's open this. Okay, so it doesn't work because you know. We didn't turn on the VLC that turn on, we didn't turn on the stream that so now we need to do our uh, send stream to and now receive to and I believe in our connection. Alright, so you know because I didn't start uh, engine egg so engine egg star so for now that means we are already start engine egg now I am again I'm going to this mean the streaming is an issue so I'm going to refresh the pre verify and connect is open again I want to send it and so now we should see a method and this mean 
we are streaming the video okay so how do I tap the video is the streaming let open the VLC for telling that is a player and it can read in a video streaming video from a TMP so let open the network let copy and play Tarvian open this again is happen so problem is our engine a config remember in our engine so you can follow the document in which project document in setup engine eight and make sure you make a little bit a config change for now I'm going to change the config so I need to find where is our engine a config locate in should be somewhere all right and then a config where is that right here so i need to open this file and make a little bit change by take you can edit with any your uh, your tool for now i'll make a shortcut on my mac and that means i will open this file on my sublime tech and so i'm going to you know this play and that means we can do user this local horse and sorry rtmp with our ip that red in this case our ip at red is this rtmp and play and we call to streaming key for now streaming key is tab in. and so we can't fake deny play or that means we are not any all player client to stream directly directly from play application now I'm going to uncomment this and save that and we do need to restart engine H by engine H as stop and engine H start again so now just mean red verify should be problem because our server is stopped and we can make implement a later function to send back to the server that we got some happen on your engine H server so we need to start reload it again for now and send from the from the port and send to red battery pi hey pi please turn on camera now it's camera is on and now we need to chat again with vrc vrc and you can do again to open the network so let's copy address rtmp with play tap in now I'll open this now you should see a video um, turn off the sound you should see it now you should see a video exactly streaming on our Raspberry Pi because you know Raspberry Pi now is streaming an example video in our project I, I made a, a, a v, I, I, I copy this an sample video for testing for now we we don't have camera yet so let's dread verify streaming a sample video okay so did exactly the video we are streaming on the red verify and receive it on the server so get back to our main tutorial in this so let I'm going to stop this and stop this admin on the server you should see an action user finish seeing streaming camera with a secret key okay so that is how we can implement the event later so get back to our a code and this case we are using a VLC player and VLC is had a very good package and it's a it's open source and, and available for iOS and TV OS so I'm going to use a VLC kit in our iOS project. The first thing we need to open the A course. All right. So we need to create a new project and single view application. I'm going to make a new, for example, um, a stream iOS player. Name is iOS, so we like that name or stream 
and so okay so let's do that and finish and change, select the folder where we store our project I'm going to select that uh, my tutorial and stream and I'm going to create a new folder iOS and create that and so I'm going to select the simulator with an iPhone 6s and first thing we need to run this and verify our application is a Y it's a blank application but I need to verify it work first and now I'm going to turn turn quest the VLC and we should see an MY view okay so that and so we need to install the add the VLC kit into our project and here is the document I'm going to use a coca parts and so I'm going to copy the name and open this for website and searching for the package and uh, so I, I see this right here and click on it and we got this part file let's copy that alright so we need to change to iOS and CD stream exactly our project so this is our project and we see it now I'm going to quest the echoes step is very important and um, I'm going to call parts in it and if you didn't install the part so you can see in you can see document how install coca parts and I did it so I don't I don't install it anymore so I called part in it so cut in it so I'll, now you should see a new file part file so now I'm going to edit it file by parts file and I'm going to uncomment this uh, right and this use framework let's copy that parts VLC or bow VLC case okay so now I'm save that file it's done and I'm going to run the command parts install and we install the dependency package okay so it's done and now I'm going to close this and we should see a new file generated by coca parts and let's copy the file name and unopen this remember you open a code space not a code project and I'm going to select maybe an iPhone 7 okay so it's fine and so we can close this window right so we let's select this and I will add some some library for build uh, so we got a build setting maybe build setting all right so build free I believe build free and target compiler all right I got this link by binary which we need to add the new should be library all right I'm not to remember C plus six plus all right six so I'm going to add this library this file okay so now you should run this and product run command or even you can on your keyboard command B and test for building the file if we got any success or an error so that means we are build success with the framework we are using 
the framework is seen the part file framework I'm oh, sorry parse and mobile VLC kit and exactly we are looking for okay so let's run it and we should see an empty empty app Right, so cool, so it's empty. And in the app, I'm going to create a new frame. And this is, we are just going to do uh, make a new video player on the main screen. For now, it's just like that. And in the view dot sweep is the file we are looking for. This is the main file. And in the view this lot, I am going to call a new function setup player player and this setup player we do need to set up a function for setup player uh, so function setup player and we implement all the player feature in this function so the player we do have a uh, less I'm going to var maybe that equal okay less uh, player view equal I'm going to return view or this last view equal view and we is in this line view view dot auto and we echo this and all return view Okay, so hit command B and let's see here. Well. Right. UI view and this should be a UI view, I'm sorry. And the view dot alright change content equal four. We're using this because we are using automat uh, to is Alright, so here in setup player we set dot view dot add sub view exactly player view. And for now, let's see. I'm going to set up. We are going to set up player with full width and full height fit to our screen. I want to do that. So I'm going to use auto contain with concur to player view dot top anchor dot contain equal to an anchor so what's an echo right here and exactly the top anchor I want to make exactly from the top the view so we can call this in anet layer anchor we can do by self dot view dot top anchor and before I can give it zero that means we don't have any space as margin or padding from the view and player view now make sure we need to set the activate equal to and I'm going to copy that and we need to UI view player view All right, so who, cool. and I'm going to copy, and then we have slab anchor, exactly view dot slab anchor, it contain here, same and copy that, and bottom anchor, and we we don't need any spray at the bottom, we need to full width so and bottom anchor and set dot view dot bottom anchor, contain equal zero as well, and also we need to right anchor right anchor it should be matched to view layout so we can call it by right anchor to right anchor okay so i want to give it some background with player dot background color equal ui color dot black all right so next 
run it and see. Okay, so we got this. We got some black, black color. And if you change to red and make sure, see, red and see again, it should be red color. That's not how it works. Okay, I'm going to change it to black because the video player, I, I think black color is a good. And we need to imp implement to VLC kit. So we have to create a new C bright bright into this project. Click on create new file and click select object C and select some file and some header like that. And it will ask you and make sure you create a writing header with the file. So in this, let to import. It should be a name of our framework. Is it case mobile? Mobile VLC kit. VLC mobile VLC kit. Okay, so and then mobile VLC kit dot s. So mobile is and let copy that. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's get back to open this file. Oh, I'm sorry. We import the wrong file. I just opened the wrong file. It should be within stream writing header. So we need to import within this file. First, we need to mobile LC VLC kit. This is the name of library as name library. And then we import this file mobile VLC kit dot s dot a. So and run command B and make sure we are import correct file. If we don't see any error, so that means we import correct file. Okay, so now we can go ahead in our view control and we open VLC media and delegate. I think it should be player delegate. Player delegate. Okay, so and that means we can get define a new player, less player, exactly VLC player equal, and we execute this less player equal VLC player, and we return P. Okay, so that and uh, so get back with our project. Remember this is <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. So remember this is uh, our IP address. We can't pass the local hot because local hot exactly on the iOS device. So we need to point a new IP to our server in in the development the server is exactly my desktop. So here is the IP address. So we got this is the streaming key and for user for camera and exactly play which we keep the same and IP address should be your server, but for now this is my desktop uh, server, so we copy that. I'm going to set up player, and here we do um, plus streaming stream URL equal URL with string string equal exactly this file. And so we need to set up uh, right. string and stream URL and we call to less media equal VLC media which in it we are going to pass the URL exactly stream URL in the case stream URL. And we assign this media into exactly player. So player dot media equal exactly media. And 
So player. Okay, so I am going to take the D in the video land kit and we see at some example and need to make sure I'm not too correct. And iOS and simple flyback. Maybe like this. And switch this is um, object C but it's the same in our sweep. I can see let's see what happened right there. It's power. And media player dot de delegate equals set and the raw variable exactly. Okay, so let's take a look at the the official demo and we are going to implement this into object C and into sweep. So in this case player self dot player or you don't need to self okay self player dot delegate equals self and player dot uh, we got some draw able draw able able exactly player view our player okay so now and now we need to kill play video because it's player player dot play okay so I'm not going to run this uh, first thing I'm going to run it to verify that any issue the input can be open that means RTMP is not correct. Alright, RTMP. Again, let's run this. In the next feature, we can make a um, function to listen or on the server will web socket. And that means we can detect on when this is streaming or not streaming. Okay, so that we could build set up later. Again, I'm stopped it. Because we didn't stream in the video and server, so now let's see in our Pi, everything is stopped. And now I'm going to start streaming. Let's port a request from UI, let's send it. Streaming with hey P, stream video please. Okay, so I need to run Raspberry Pi first, run Python. And now it's connect is open and we send a message from this can be sent from user in the phone end we require a red a red service to our backend with the stream equal true and that means tell to red verify hey pi turn on the camera yeah turn on please and now you should see this method that means the video is streaming and now let's run the echo run the app and see what we see on the video Maybe not that. Now you should see that. This is a video streaming on on our Red Valley Pi. And for now it's streaming at the TED video. And now you see that. And now I'm going to run it. Now you see this. Again. Alright, that is how we do. Okay, I'll stop this. And we, okay, so I'm going to start and let Ted stream. And now I am going to tell to the server which to stop, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, stop. Stop play. Now I believe it should be stop. Between stop camera and in our, our player, it should be stop. And we don't have any even on iOS to listen, stop, and start on the server. That is the first setting to create a new player on the simple view in iOS. So I believe this should work, and so we can follow this and do a new user UI for login and 
measurement his camera and view light camera okay so see you in the next video and the next year goodbye for now thank you for watching